Hello, my name is Matthew Chorba. I'm a gastroenterologist at Washington University in St. Louis. And on behalf of my co-authors, Christina Ha, Christian Stone, and Rodney Newberry, I'm going to present the video abstract from our article in the August 2010 issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology titled, Patients with a Late Adult Onset Ulcerative Colitis Have Better Outcomes Than Those with Early Onset Disease. The impetus for conducting this study came from both clinical observation as well as recognition of epidemiologic data, which suggests that there were two main peaks in the age of onset for ulcerative colitis. The first peak occurring typically in the late teens to early 20s, and the second peak occurring sometime after age 50. In this later onset cohort, in our clinical observation, it appeared as though many of these patients had a more benign disease course, oftentimes being able to be treated and main in remission on 5 ASAs alone. To determine whether or not this clinical observation held up over larger numbers, we performed a retrospective study using data from our inflammatory bowel diseases clinics. For this retrospective cohort study, we identified 295 patients, approximately half of which fell in the early adult onset cohort, being diagnosed between the ages of 18 and 30 years old, and another half of the patients who were who fell into the late adult onset cohort being diagnosed after age 50. We then used the Montreal classification to categorize patients by disease severity and extent at time of diagnosis, followed their medications over the course of the first year, and finally categorized them by disease severity and steroid-free clinical remission at one year. As far as key risk factors, we identified that those in the early adult onset cohort were more likely to have a family history of inflammatory bowel disease, while those in the late adult onset cohort were more likely to be former smokers. Interestingly, at time of diagnosis, the disease extent and severity were similar between the two cohorts. A key finding of our study came from evaluation of the primary outcome, which was looking at steroid-free clinical remission at one year. What we found was that despite having similar severity of disease at time of onset and taking similar medications over the course of that first year, more patients in the late adult onset cohort were in clinical remission, steroid-free clinical remission at one year compared to early, uh, those with early onset disease. This finding held true even if you looked at a subgroup analysis of patients who had required steroids over the course of the first year. In review of the literature, very few studies have previously compared disease outcomes or therapeutic responsiveness in, di in disease groups divided by age at onset. Those that have are typically more than a decade old and did not include patients who were exposed to current therapeutic regimens or modern medications. Numerous factors may have contributed to the findings of this study. Those include patients with, uh, who were diagnosed at a later age may have generally better adherence to medications. They may actually respond better to medications. Uh, there may be differences in the immune system of those individuals diagnosed in their early 20s compared to somebody diagnosed after age 50, where a relative immune senescence may have begun. And finally, there may also be differences in how the disease began in the first place, whether the risk factors are greater as an environmental setting for those with late adult onset, as we found that they were more likely to have, more likely to be former smokers, whereas genes may play a greater role in early onset disease, where we found that inflammatory bowel, a family history of inflammatory bowel disease was greater in the younger patients. Each of these factors would be a worthy avenue for further investigation, and we hope that our study sparks interest in continued research and looking at the therapeutic response to IBD medications as well as safety in the late adult onset ulcerative colitis populations. Furthermore, our study supports the notion that age at disease onset would be a factor worth considering when evaluating the results of future pharmaceutical trials involving ulcerative colitis patients. I appreciate the time that you took to watch this video abstract and hope that you find our article in the August 2010 issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to be useful. Thank you.